Something just changed everything we thought we knew about interstellar visitors. In July 2025, astronomers detected our third ever interstellar object. And this time, something was different. Something that has quantum computers working overtime and defense agencies paying very close attention. Think about this for a second. In the entire history of human civilization, we've only confirmed three objects visiting us from beyond our solar system. Three. That's it. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, that weird cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our solar system at 26 kilometers per second and left astronomers scratching their heads. No comet tail, no gas emissions, just this strange, elongated visitor that didn't behave like anything we'd seen before. Then came 2i Borisov in 2019, which at least acted like a normal comet. You know, the kind with an actual tail and gas emissions that made sense to our models. But now we have 3i Atlas, discovered in July 2025. And this one, this one is breaking records in ways that should probably concern us. 3i Atlas is absolutely screaming through our solar system at 58 kilometers per second. That's not just fast. That's more than twice the speed of Oumuamua. To put that in perspective, this thing could cross the entire continental United States in about two and a half minutes. Its orbit is what astronomers call sharply hyperbolic, with an eccentricity over six. Every planet, every asteroid, Every comet born in our solar system has an eccentricity less than one. This visitor is so unbound by our sun's gravity that it's basically giving physics the middle finger on its way through. Recent observations show it's actively releasing water vapor as it approaches the sun, so we know it's a comet. But here's where things get weird. The reason we're catching these visitors now isn't luck, it's technology. The ATLAS survey has four robotic telescopes scanning the entire night sky every 24 hours. Two in Hawaii, one in South Africa, one in Chile. Each night, they're gathering hundreds of gigabytes of data, looking for anything that moves, anything new, anything that shouldn't be there. John Tonry, who helped build ATLAS, called it a cosmic burglar alarm. And that's exactly what it is. Humanity's early warning system for the rarest cosmic events. But here's the thing about finding a needle in a haystack. You need to know what the needle looks like. For every billion objects passing through our solar system, only a handful come from another star. The odds are absolutely brutal. Meanwhile, down on Earth, there's another silent guardian. The Deep Space Advanced Radar Capability, or DARK, operates 24-7, tracking thousands of objects in geostationary orbit. Rain or shine, day or night, this system can detect objects as small as 30 centimeters across from 22,000 miles away. Here's where things get overwhelming really fast. One night of modern sky surveys now produces more raw data than astronomers collected in the entire 20th century. ATLAS alone generates over 200 million source detections per night. When the Vera Rubin Observatory comes fully online, we're talking 20 terabytes every single night. That's enough data to fill a stack of hard drives taller than a city bus. Every. Single. Night. The problem isn't taking the pictures, it's finding what matters inside them. Most detections are routine. Catalogued asteroids, known satellites, atmospheric glitches. But hidden in that digital avalanche, maybe once or twice a year, something appears that shouldn't exist. By the time human analysts can confirm a real anomaly, the window for follow-up observations might already be closed. We needed something faster, something that could think differently about patterns in data. This is where Google's quantum technology enters the story. Google's Sycamore processor, with its 53 qubits, doesn't read data like a traditional computer. While classical computers check every possible pattern one step at a time, Sycamore explores millions of combinations simultaneously through quantum parallelism. Think of it like this. If you're looking for something in a massive maze, a classical computer would methodically try each path, marking dead ends as it goes. 
Sycamore walks every path at once and immediately flags the routes that don't fit any known pattern. In 2019, Sycamore completed a task in 200 seconds that would take classical computers 1,000 years. That's not just an improvement, that's a fundamental change in how we can process information. For astronomy data, this means processing a night's worth of survey data, hundreds of gigabytes, billions of data points, without drowning in false alarms. Each qubit acts like a specialized detector, scanning for correlations that might escape even the most sophisticated classical algorithms. So here's what happened with 3i Atlas. When Sycamore processed the flood of detection data, it flagged something, a persistent pattern linked to the object's passage through our solar system. The validation teams attacked this anomaly from every angle, hot pixel checks, cosmic ray artifact detection, software bug hunts, signal compression errors. They ran synthetic injection tests, feeding the system thousands of fake events designed to mimic real cosmic signals or instrument quirks. Independent software teams reprocessed the raw data from scratch. If the anomaly only appeared in one pipeline, it would be tossed as a processing artifact. After every filter, every audit, every statistical cross-check, this signal refused to disappear. The final probability that this was just random noise? Less than 0.1%. In defense and space monitoring, that's the threshold where protocols meant for real-world threats kick in. Look, let's be clear about what we know and what we don't. We have confirmed three interstellar objects. Oumuamua, Borisov, and Atlas. That part is solid science. We have quantum processes that can find patterns in astronomical data faster than ever before. Also confirmed. What we have here is a statistical anomaly, a signal that passed every error check we could throw at it, with less than a 1 in 1,000 chance of being random noise. But here's what we don't have, any official explanation from NASA, Space Force, or any other space agency. The signal remains classified as unclassified, meaning it exists, it's documented, but nobody's telling us what they think it means. Every interstellar visitor forces us to expand our understanding of what's possible. These objects carry the chemical signatures of alien star systems, the gravitational stories of planets we'll never see, and orbital mechanics shaped by forces millions of years in the making. The fact that we can now detect anomalies in the data from these visitors, patterns that resist every known explanation, that's not just a technical achievement. It's opening a door to questions we didn't even know how to ask before. As quantum computing becomes more powerful and our detection networks become more sensitive, we're entering an era where the rarest cosmic events can't hide in the noise anymore. The universe is about to become a much more transparent place. The Vera Rubin Observatory will soon be scanning the entire visible sky every three days. That's going to find dozens, maybe hundreds of interstellar objects over the next decade. Each one will be subjected to the same quantum analysis that flagged the Atlas anomaly. Are we ready for what we might find? Are our theories prepared for signals that don't fit any known physics? Because if this anomaly linked to 3i Atlas is real, and the statistics strongly suggest it is, then we're already in uncharted territory. The cosmos has been sending us visitors for billions of years. We've only recently developed the eyes to see them and the minds to understand what they might be telling us. The question isn't whether more anomalies exist in the data, it's whether we're brave enough to face what they might reveal about our place in a universe far stranger than we ever imagined. What do you think? Are we on the verge of discovering something that will rewrite textbooks? Or are we just getting better at finding patterns in chaos? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries hiding in our cosmic backyard.